Hi, we are on Blender and we want to create a crystal vase. Let's go and delete the cube first. Okay, create and a sphere. Okay, hit S and we now have a bigger sphere. Okay, let's go to edit mode and face select. Okay. Uh, hit B and select this area also enable proportion proportional editing now pull it a little up okay and deselect Okay, again hit B and select these rings. Again, all of them, the rings. Okay. Yeah, it has to be a little faster. We have all these to be selected. Uh, control, uh, well, shift and deselect. Okay, control, select, control, select and these B okay well it takes a little time okay once selected uh, go to tools and delete the faces okay we now have this object okay uh, B and select these faces okay the faces I need to deselect them and pull these rings up like this if you go to object mode and do it like this you have more control uh, okay again edit mode and uh, let's go to this bias. let's select this upper ring yeah every face is selected pull it a little up Okay. Now deselect and go to edge select and select 
these edges on top okay uh, I would pull a little bit up and use E and S together uh, okay then pull it up again let's see well I think something went wrong let's see what was that uh, yeah that's the problem this shouldn't be selected okay pull them up and uh, select this part all of the I mean you, you need to be careful to deselect uh, these uh, you could do it like this okay and pull it up a little bit and if you press E and S then you would have Wow, no, it shouldn't be like this. Let's just select uh, the upper ring. Okay, control and select. Okay, and this one. Shift. Uh, e and S. Now you pull it up. that up okay uh, let's go uh, to the extrude option extrude region and extrude it a little bit like this and uh, Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we can make changes to make it more beautiful or more realistic. Uh, if we choose, well, before that we will select 
face select and if we go to this uh, Okay. C. I press C. And okay. Uh, and choose this manipulator to twist a little bit uh, I would say that's about enough uh, we could make some twist here too just you need to select this area and like this well when you want to deselect them you press shift and C shift and dislike like this okay let's twist this part too okay it's got to be okay okay this is a f this is a primitive was already let's go to object mode yeah we could see that uh, more work has to be done on it uh, okay let's select well before that let's go to modifiers and add a modifier I would also select solidify and give some thickness well, four or five thickness okay if you if you now look inside you see the depth and some thickness uh, indeed so uh, Okay, now go to the material parameter and new. I would give red some red. Uh, okay, and make it a little bit shiny. It's yeah. Uh, now, if you scroll down to transparency and uh, use Fresnel what Z transparency and Fresnel what well, this is this is a kind of lens indeed so and do a little bit well you could you could see I mean you could close these and uh, uh, see what happens in the preview and let's change the blend which is responsible for harmony among colors okay now we have we have probably the right blend and the right fresno uh, okay you could also go to the rendered mode and check it there uh, okay uh, let's get back to solid 
Uh, ok. Uh, we here need to add a plane. Uh, add and this mesh plane. Ok. S and make it bigger. Now pull it all down. Okay. But you could make it big enough and give some color to that new and okay. Also let's use texture too and uh, new I give it a name uh, and use the right texture well let me let me use wood or marble and I would also change this uh, to white okay now if you go to the rendered mode oh, you, you can see that because we don't have light let's go back to solid and uh, texture let's choose this add and lamp look uh, let's see yeah we now have some light it might not be enough let's see yeah it looks better now uh, okay while in the rendered mode let me go to world and select horizon color I would I would give it some uh, yellowish color okay you could change everything I mean depending on how artistic you are uh, so you need to play with these um, colors to find the right blend or what is what you think uh, looks more realistic uh, okay well let me just increase the exposure a little bit yeah it, it looks better well uh, that's about it I mean uh, you, you you have the boss and uh, uh, if you render the image yeah well, well you, you can you can only see a part of that uh, you would need to uh, do some work on the light and camera so go to texture and you see the camera here okay uh, on the menu select camera and uh, decrease the focal lens like make changes to this uh, you could probably see that The, I mean the change in in the camera too. Well, let me check with the rendered. Oh, uh, well, no, it's not. It's not yet good. Uh, yeah, go back to uh, texture and 
let's change the position of the camera uh, it should be okay now uh, better <laughs> but not good en enough uh, again texture let's go a little up and uh, do this the focal, the focal lens, you see the perspective okay let's see that yeah, yeah, now it's okay uh, well, if, if 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 you're artistic enough, you could you could make great changes, and uh, I mean you can uh, do. I mean you can be ex exper. I mean you can experiment with colors and with the modes in order to create a vase that looks more realistic or more beautiful uh, yeah th that is the way in which we could create a crystal vase thank you